This is LeChat, a new AI tool that's insanely fast. Just watch how quickly it can build an entire app from scratch. And no, this wasn't sped up. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can build anything with LeChat. All right, so what even is LeChat? Well, it's the world's fastest AI chatbot. And currently it's going mega viral, surpassing many other popular AI tools. And you can also use it to build AI agents, which I'll show you later in the video. So make sure to watch until the end. Now here's why LeChat might be the next deep seek, because both of them use open source AI models and are growing super fast in popularity. Currently, LeChat offers these three AI models, Mr. Small, Mr. Large, which is the most powerful one, and Mr. Next. But not only that, it can also create images, browse the web, analyze documents, and execute code. Basically, do anything that ChatGPT can do. In fact, here is how it compares. So the API costs are actually almost four times lower than GPT-4, but the model itself is much more efficient, as you can see on the chart right here. Now, here is why I think LeChat might be Europe's last hope. The EU is known for its crazy regulations and anti-AI stats. However, Mistral, the company behind LeChat, is a French startup. And this is a rare win for Europe since European startups are almost extinct. Luckily, Mistral is causing the second French revolution because the French government has directly invested 40 million euros into open source AI models. On top of that, France has the largest amount of nuclear reactors in Europe. This makes it the perfect place to train AI models due to just how much energy energy they require. Now, even though Europe is going to shit, I think the future might still be bright. Macron himself, the president of France, just announced a 109 billion euro investment. This also includes 30 to 50 billion euro from the UAE. And who knows, maybe some of that money is from me since now I live in Dubai. Anyways, since the government is backing Mistral, it's very likely that LeChat will become a major threat to ChatGPT. So I would highly recommend you pay attention and learn it now. With that being said, Let's get to building. Okay, so the first step is go to LeChat and sign up. So the URL is chat.mistral.ai, which will bring you to the landing page of LeChat. In the top right, you will see a login button, so make sure to log in. But after you do that, you should see the chat interface with the collapsible sidebar on the left that shows you the history of messages as well as search, which is super useful. So after you sign up, the next step is choosing a project to build. Actually, I'm gonna use DeepSeek R1, which is the best reasoning model right now. And I'm gonna say, suggest five different projects we could build in the chat. And by the way, you can now use DeepSeek R1 as well as O3 Mini inside of Vectal for free. I've just released a free plan to Vectal where you get a limited amount of messages with these powerful models, as well as all of the tasks and notes functionality that Vectal has to offer. Go to Vectal.ai and sign up. It's completely free. Anyways, we now have the five projects from DeepSeek, so let's see what he suggests. Typing speed test, okay? So I'm gonna say Vectal break this down into five small steps since a lot of the times building something from scratch, especially if you're a beginner, can be intimidating. Luckily, Vectal can easily turn this into steps and create tasks for each. Beautiful, so now we have the project broken down into smaller steps. So I'm gonna go into the chat and say, I want you to build typing speed test in Canvas. And Canvas is a feature inside of the chat right here. So make sure to enable Canvas because this is what allows you to build and run code. And also I'm gonna say focus on the first step, right? Let's start by creating a minimalist text input area with custom styling. So let's send that and this is the speed of the chat. Holy moly. This is real time, guys. This is real time. I cannot believe it. <laughs> Insane. Okay, so now the next step is to do this. Now implement this. Live VPM counter, so words per minute counter with smooth updates. All right, so it's writing the updated code. I'm not sure why it's writing in the text in the chat area and not in the canvas. Oh, I see, it works like cursor. So yeah, first it writes the code and applies the differences to the current file. Now you might notice that no, right now it's slower and I think that's due to the insane demand because the chat literally exploded over the past two weeks. So let's see, I am testing how fast I can type and now I am typing. Okay, so this is not accurate at all. Maybe we can see the way it's measuring. I'm not gonna debug that right now, but for now on it's, it's fine. Let's see what the next step is in Vectal. So we did break it down into steps. We did create the minimalist text input area with coding. We have some smooth updates for the VPM counter, okay. Let's add the animated progress bar. Now, before we add the animated progress bar, I have to remind you that Vectal is now free. Any task you create gets automatically sorted by our AI agents on the backend. And the AI agents right here in the chat, they have knowledge of all your tasks, all your user preferences, and you can just get your work done so much faster. That said, let's add the animated progress bar to the chat. So I'm gonna say, now add the following and paste in animated progress bar. Okay, so let's see. Now we have an animated progress bar to maximum 100 words. So let's see, one, two, three, four. Make the max 30 words instead. Okay, so now it should be updated to 30 words. So let's see, one, two, three, four. Yeah, the animation is nice. All right, so we added animated progress bar. Now let's implement the accuracy penalty display. Now implement 
boom. Okay, so there it is. We hit the fast server. <laughs> Insane. The, the difference between the fast servers and slow servers is actually crazy. All right, so let's see accuracy penalty discharge. One, two, three, four. Accuracy 9%, what do you mean? I don't know how it works currently, that's the issue. So I'm just gonna tell it. Make sure to display random English words and then calculate the accuracy based on that. Because currently I don't think the calculation makes any sense. Okay, there it is. So we have some random English words. Yeah, okay, so now it works. Now the accuracy works, that's good. By the way, one thing you can also do in the chat is if you type tag, you can tag your AI agents, which I'll show you in a bit how to create them. Okay, so the last step of the typing test is to design a shareable results card. So I'm gonna say change the max words to 20 and design a shareable results card. So let's send that. Now, one thing I really don't like is the UI split, right? Personally, I prefer to have the chat on the left, but then when it shows, it shows like a mobile UI. That's a UI problem that they should solve. I think you should just show the app and then you can switch to the code if you need to. But hey, the app is still super new, so we have to give them a bit of leeway because you know, me building Vectal from scratch with AI tools, I know what that's like, right? Vectal definitely wasn't perfect, but it's improving like every other day. The chat is gonna be the same. They're gonna be improving so fast, especially now with the investment from UAE. One small touch I really like in the UI is that while a chat is generating, you can see a loading spinner next to the chat so that if you switch to a different one, you know like what's happening. Okay, so now we only have 20 words. I don't know why all of them are so random. It's like fruits. So let's try it. Kiwi, fig, banana, vanilla. Okay, enter. Okay, so the UI that it designed is not intuitive at all. You have to click down here and only then you get the results. And the words per minute, I'm not sure if it comes correctly. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. But hey, it's the chat. The speed is the main factor, right? So the way this should be used isn't for a full stack app. You should use it to build the MVP in like you know, one minute, two minutes, and then move it to cursor as soon as possible, which again, we'll get to that in a bit. Now, let me show you the AI agents, how to build AI agents in the chat. So let's move all tasks from tomorrow to today. I move them to tomorrow, that way it's a bit more organized for you guys, but the AI agents in Vectal can do operations on multiple tasks at once, right? So today is a weekend, I wanna focus on my health. The list gets reprioritized so that work tasks are at the bottom and health tasks are at the top. It can update 10, 15, 20 tasks at once. That said, let me show you how to build AI agents inside of the chat. So when you go to a new chat, you can just do the add. And when you do add, you can mention an AI agent, right? So the default model, doesn't require anything, but if you click on plus, create an AI agent, it takes you to the platform, which is basically Mistral's console, where you can actually build and design these AI agents with a lot more control than you have inside of the chat. So basically, the chat is for like 95% of the population, while the console is for the top 5% of people who are actually serious about AI. So let's see, I'm gonna create a new agent. I'm gonna name it David Andre's personal AI agent. And then for the model, we have a bunch of different AI models, wow, okay. So the main ones are these three generalist models. So Mistral Nemo is a 12 billion model, super fast, super cheap. Then we have Mistral Large 2.1. This is like a medium sized model. It's not really on the same level as DeepSeek. Like for example, <laughs> DeepSeek and Vectal, much more advanced, but this model is gonna be cheaper. Actually, I take that back. This model is not cheaper than DeepSeek. I just checked the DeepSeek documentation and I realized that DeepSeek Reasoner is a lot cheaper than this model. Man, this is why DeepSeek is so amazing. This model is much more powerful. So this, this one is like 123 billion parameters. The main DeepSeek R1 is like 670, right? So it's like five times bigger basically. And it's still a lot cheaper. Wow, that's crazy. So yeah, if you need advanced reasoning, just go to Vectal and use DeepSeek. If you need super fast speed, then the chat is the place to go. So for my David Andre agent, I'm gonna use Mistral Nemo, because that's super fast. In terms of the temperature, I'm gonna use 0.1. Here's a system problem, I'm gonna say always respond in lower caps, be concise and direct, do not beat around the bush. And then this is interesting, so below the system prompt, we have demonstrations. Not many AI tools have this basically. And this is a few shot prompting where you can give input output examples. So let's say you build an AI assistant for coding, you would give the prompt and then how the code should look like. Or for writing, right? Let's say you're a writer, you wanna do like optimized tweets or whatever. You would give the prompt and then the optimized tweet or you know, mid journey prompts, prompt and then the result. And actually, I think I just got a brilliant idea. So what you could do is you could generate the examples with a powerful model like DeepSeek. So let me reset the chat here in Vectal and I'm gonna say, write an essay about Vectal and the future of productivity. And now we will get DeepSeek, which is a super powerful AI model, to write the answer and we can actually do, <laughs> we can do, this is OP guys, we can do input output examples where you write the input, right? So I would literally copy my input right here and I'm gonna put in the exact same input prompt 
and then I'm gonna wait for whatever DeepSeek finishes. I'm gonna copy that as well from Vectal. I'm gonna paste it as the model output. And then, you know, we would do that a few more times for like write an essay about why communism never works, right? because it doesn't, and it's gonna do that. So now I can give that as a second example. And basically this will train your AI agent inside of LeChat to write in the same style as DeepSeekR1, which is a lot more powerful AI model. So here, what I can do now in the system product, I can say you are an AI assistant focused on writing beautiful essays, okay? And then I'm gonna leave the other stuff. And once I'm happy with this, I can click on deploy, but I need to set up subscription to try it out. So let me do that. And this is a subscription for the Le platform, right? For the console. The experimental tier is completely free. But for the scaling one, this is where, you know, you would want to build your app with Mistral. So let's say I wanted to add Mistral to Vectal. Then I would obviously use the scale tier where I, there is a pay per use. So you pay for the tokens you actually use. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to use the experiment plan because that's what most of you are going to be using as well. So let's go to the platform. And on the left, let's click on agents. And we should see my own David Andre personal AI agent. So let me click that. And actually you, here you have the API ID. So if you wanted to use the in the API, you can. In the deployment, make sure to toggle the chat. Deploy your agent to the chat so that everyone in your organization can use it. Also, this is interesting. If you have a team plan, I have a pro plan, but you can also do a team plan, right? So if you have a team plan, you can actually create AI agents for the entire team. It's pretty useful. So let's deploy that. Agent successfully deployed to the chat. Okay, so now let's try it on the chat. And now when I tag it, there it is. So now I can see my personal agent and I can say, write a novel about Napoleon, right? Because we're talking about the French company, Mistral. Napoleon is one of the greatest generals of all time. And this should be in the same writing style as DeepSeek. So if we look at the essays it wrote, it should be roughly the same formatting. And you can see like the paragraph length is the same, right? Now keep in mind, I only gave it two examples to get the best possible results. Give it at least five, 10 examples minimum. And if you're not happy with the way your AI agent is performing, just go back to the console, AKA the platform, and you can maybe change to a more powerful AI model, right? And then click on update. And then let me do the same prompt in a new chat. And let's see if it's better. This is a much more powerful model. Now we hit the fast server, this is insane, right? The speed difference is when you hit the slow server and the fast server, it's like 50x. It's it's really crazy, right? Imagine like once we get the best models, like let's say DeepSeekR1, like DeepSeekR1 is still pretty fast. Like write a novel about work ethic or whatever. This is still pretty fast. You can see the reasoning tokens. You cannot keep up with this, right? Like it's much faster than you can read. But imagine if this was at the sp same speed, 1100 tokens per second as the chat. Like the future is going to be bright. We're going to have literally AGI models that are running at near speed of light, perceived speeds. I mean, it's gonna be amazing, right? So now you know how to create AI agents. Let me explain how to use LeChat. The way I would use LeChat is honestly for the prototypes. This is not cursor. You will not be able to build full stack web apps such as Vectal and build them from scratch. Like there is a reason why I decided to build Vectal with cursor and I've actually documented the entire process. So if you want to see all that, how I took an idea and built it into a startup that has over 200 paying customers and makes nearly $7,000 a month, you want to see every single step of the way, how I did that, the mistakes I made and all that, make sure to join the new society. It's inside of the classroom as well as all the other exclusive content we have inside. And most importantly, make sure to go to Vectal.ai and sign up because now we have a free plan. You can try it for free. And then if you want to upgrade and have unlimited access to the world's cutting AI models, there's an option for that too. So again, go to Vectal.ai and give it a shot. It's completely free, no credit card required. And I promise you're gonna love it. With that being said, thank you guys for watching and have a wonderful, productive rest of the week.